I'm Shiv from Petroleum Mac and today I'm gonna tell you a little about Terminal and how to use it to control your Mac. So Terminal is an inbuilt application into your Mac into every Apple computer that's running on Mac OS X. How do you access it you might ask. You go into your launchpad and it is right over here you can't you go into the utilities folder which you can't see on the current screen recording that I have but it's over here terminal this one right here with the black icon here this yeah so you click on it to open it and you will probably be greeted with a white icon it might be black with a white window and black text on it might be black on white probably not unless you've changed the preferences so what you'll see now is a window with your you'll probably see something like this one second it's 23 hours so you'll probably see something like this with um, the name of your, co your computer here. Mine is Shiv's iMac, as I told you, I'm Shiv. And then you'll see here will be the current directory that you're at, this little thing over here in this wiggly thing. In my case, the wiggly thing, uh, the wiggly thing stands for your home uh, account. And mostly it terminal opens up with the home uh, as the default directory. Um, but in it, yeah, it'll be the home one. Now, what you need, and then will be your username. Now, what you need to know in terminal, the first thing you need to know is how to navigate your way around. So naturally, if you're stuck in the home folder, you can't do much unless you can go into the other folders. So how do you go into the other folders? Simple. You use the change directory command, but if you don't know what's in that folder what do you have to open up that folder and then see because that's a pain isn't it i mean then there's no point using the command line so obviously mac has a solution for that and that is the ls command that's the list command which lists every um file or folder that's in your current directory so in my home directory i have all of these files and folders Okay, there, there are folders actually, but they might be files. Now, to open any of the, to go into a folder, you do CD and then you do, let's just say desktop in this case. Again, you can't, now, look at the, this, the weekly icon has changed to the um, desk, to desktop because I changed my directory to the desktop. Now, you can't see this in my current recording, but, um, uh, my desktop only has one folder called miscellaneous and if I type ls it will show you there it says miscellaneous so um, now I want to open miscellaneous you just do cd miscellaneous and there desktop has changed to miscellaneous now it's no use if you can keep going forward but you can never go back so one thing that you probably need to know is that if you type cd put a space and then put two full stops here yeah, that's two full stops it'll take you to your preview to the folder above your current folder for example miscellaneous is inside the desktop folder so if i do cd full stop full stop it'll take me to the desktop now you might want to just go back to your hard drive because it generally starts with your home folder this wiggly icon if I type cd wiggly icon from anywhere um, it'll take me to my home folder which has all of these again but if you want to go into your hard drive which is in my case in most cases it's called macintosh hd you can't do that the macintosh hd has a folder called users and that has my home folder so how do I go into that? One way is that I just do CD full stop full stop twice from the home thing or from anywhere else I can just do if I'm in my home folder as I am right now or all in my home directory all I have to do is put CD and then put a forward slash I'm in my Macintosh HD now if I do ls here are all my files these are mostly system files but some of them are now mostly you don't want to mess around with these uh, I may have stated this earlier but terminal is a very dangerous application if you don't know what you're doing and you can do literally you can do anything with terminal 
and it's not too safe to use unless you know what you're doing but most of the commands are fairly harmless but if you put in something like if you remove some system files it can be quite dangerous so don't anyway um, I get back to my home folder now now that you know how to navigate your way around the system oh, one more thing you should probably know is let's just say I'm in CD um, now I want let's just say I go into my desk uh, no, no no yeah my desktop and then I go into miscellaneous so now I'm in miscellaneous I do LS now you'll notice that there is a folder called school files so let me open that I go into CD school files but this is not going to work why because if you put a space between them it thinks of them as two separate words so what you have to do is if the directory has a space between its name you do cd school uh, you put it in inverted commas double inverted commas like this and then you do school space files close and you're in schools file now you do cd cd so now now that you know how to navigate your way around it's probably useful if you know how to delete something now I'm probably I'm not gonna enter the command in because I don't want to delete any of these files it just as yet but um, it's let me just show you how to make a copy of a file okay and then I'll delete that so to make a copy of a file you type CP okay first for, uh, another thing you should probably know is that you can instead of navigating one by one you can probably just do this right now in my home folder I do CD desktop forward slash miscellaneous forward slash oh that's it and now out oh, okay um, I do CD desktop forward slash miscellaneous now I'm in miscellaneous I do LS these are the files in it now I can do CP and then I choose a file. Let's just say I try and copy goflex.ico. Goflex.ico. So this is how you copy the file. You just type its name, and if you don't type a new name, then it'll just get called goflex.ico copy, but uh, goflex copy.ico. But if you type a new name, you should type it like this goflex new dot ico or anything you want to call it, I can even call it goflex there and then enter. Now, if I do ls, there it is goflex blah blah blah. Um, so now that you know how to do this, it's probably useful if you know how to copy and paste not paste but just copy right now um, but it's quite a useful thing to know so in um, in terminal to copy a file well to copy a file I just showed you but to remove a file that's probably useful right um, so to remove a file you use the rm command yeah remove quite simple um, and you just type in the name and since there's a space right here between mine I'm going to put it into inverted commas and then I press enter and now if I do ls you'll see that goflex blah blah is not there now one more thing is rm has a lot of these functions have commands have different um, functions that you can add to them for example if I do rm dash rf um, it removes it even if it requires authentication to remove the file or if you don't have permission to access the file you can still delete it so if anyone tells you to type rm-rf slash do not do it because as I told you slash is your hard drive you'll end up wiping out your hard drive for good so these are the basics of navigating your way through terminal uh, one more thing is you can probably you should probably know you can open files through this too if I do open goflex.ico and there it's opened so now this is this was the file got it so um, that's the basics of navigating through ter with terminal I'll be back for more stay tuned and subscribe thank you and visit controlyourmac.com